Now, we all know that there are certain devices that generate logs. As I mentioned before, firewalls, routers, uh, Windows servers, Unix servers, they generate a standard log. When we jump into our search window, and just real quickly inside the search window, if I just were to click on search right now, whatever device this is here, this device here has generated a log. That is the raw log that log point saw. We saw that raw log. We've broken it up into category. We understand the tagging and the entries, but that's the raw log. So we've come across situations in the past whereby a device generates a log and it includes a lot of binary code inside the log or it includes like an image inside the log. So every log gets generated and sent with an image. For a security perspective, we do not need that information. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump down in our configuration and we are going to build a custom parser. So here we have, this, these are all the parsers that LogPoint ships with the product, an email parser, there's a line parser. Syslog must be the most prevalent one around here. We're gonna generate a new one here. I'm just gonna build a sample one, ZZ test is the name of that. I have already um, actually copied and pasted. That is the search, it's stock standard regex. There's no rocket science inside here. And the last two entries I'm gonna put inside here are for the example, so we'll go and paste those in there. I'm gonna check this and see what happens. Yep, I've identified two records. So now I know that my custom parser is actually working for elements that look like this. Now, remember, in, a, in the real world, this is obviously a lot more complex. We are looking for tags, we're looking for numbers, we're looking for delimiters, and potentially stripping out information which is not relevant or is just bloating our, our, our actual repositories. So once I'm happy with this, I can click on Submit. I now have this custom regex parser built inside my library for me to use. What we do then is we go back into our main configuration and we have our devices. Each device that gets added to log points get, gets added with a certain series or a certain set of parsers that are applicable to that. I'm gonna pick one that we all understand very quickly, a Windows file server over here. On the right, I can add a collector or a fetcher. This is the mechanism how log points goes to retrieve the data back inside log point. In this instance, I'm actually running one already. I'm running a syslog collector. As I mentioned before, the most prevalent, most devices support syslog. Maybe I'd like to add a sys fetcher. So we choose sys fetcher to add it. It says, okay, you can add a sys fetcher, but when you add it, you now need a username and password. Remember, logs are privileged. So you must be able to log onto a server to retrieve that data back. So you put in a username and a password. When you come down to your parser, you'll see that now I have my ZZ test, which is a custom parser that we have written to go and log onto a machine to retrieve the events in a custom format exactly for our needs.